What's up folks, this is Shane with SE Knives and Reynolds Adventure and Training. And we're dropping a video because we have been listening to you and we are adding another new product to the product line based purely on customer requests. No, it's not the CR 3.0, so I want to go ahead and get that out of the, out of the, out of the way. But what it is, is it's actually some horizontal cross draw. Uh, straps that will fit on any of your legacy uh, SEs. We're going to cover you from the Kandaroo all the way to the SE6 and beyond. I want to talk to you really quick about what these kits cover and what knives and then also doesn't have to be an SE. You can use these kits for other things, uh, for other blades and I'm going to show you a real quick way that you can measure and do what you need to do. So kit number one is right at five and a half inches in length and they also, these straps also have at least three adjustments on here. So suffice, suffice it to say that you've got some adjustability here. It should be noted that I am carrying a, a, uh, a Sencillo right now in kit two, and I have a double thickness gun belt, and I am on the middle tab on the back. So there's some, you have some adjustment, and if nothing else, if you're kind of concerned about whether or not it's gonna fit, you can always get the longer kit, and then just punch your own hole so you can work on whatever knife it is that uh, you're trying to put it on. So let's talk about kit one. Kit one is going to cover the Kandaroo, the Azula, Azula 2, Mlay, the Zancudo, and the AGK in 3D uh, in S35. So that's kit one. Kit number two, which I dropped, that's actually kit three. Kit number two is six and a half inches long, still has those same three different adjustment holes. Uh, it covers SE3, SE4, uh, the 3 mil Laser Strike, the Sencillo, the 3HM. Kit number three is the SE5, 6, 6HM, 4HM, and 6HM as well in the Kydex sheath offerings. Now, let's talk real quick about how you can use this uh, to use just a simple piece of paracord to see how to measure if you want to use a non-SE product or even a model that we hadn't talked about here. I know there's this is not a complete list of everything, but it gives us an idea. You can take a piece of paracord, orient the knife however you want to carry it, and then put a knot on one end of the paracord, run it underneath your belt and around, and then once you get however long that is, you can measure that and then order the appropriate kit. Again, if you're unsure, it's always better to order a longer one because you can always make it uh, shorter, but it's gonna be hard to make it longer. All right? So a couple things about this, and with all hardware, you guys always hear me talk about it. Periodic hardware checks and blue Loctite is your friend. One of the number one SKUs that we sell uh, off of our website is replacement hardware because people install the clip plates and they never go back and check it. It gets worked in, the plastic compresses a little bit, and they start losing on, on a good case, the best case scenario, they lose hardware. Worst case scenario, they lose a knife and that is not covered under warranty. So make sure you're doing your due diligence, you're checking your hardware periodically and also again blue loctite even i've seen people use fingernail polish as well just to help hold that hardware in place all right so really quickly to install this you're simply going to remove your factory clip plate you're going to put the button part down you have a uh you have a like a chicago screw that goes in from behind you thread that in on the front you loop it around and you can snap it down. It goes behind your belt. Not that hard to figure out. I'm sure you guys can get that worked out on your own. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, drop them in the comments down below. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. As always, thanks guys.